in a Z Camp booth with KC Lai. Uh, he's my homie from Hong Kong. We're from the same town. Hey, KC, how are you? Yeah, very good. Today, we would like to show you more information about the VR 180 stuff and our new lenses. And this one is the mysterious new camera, the K2 Pro. It was made with two uh, with the uh, E2 camera component, but built together in a single body. So you can control everything with the single set of buttons, single power, single uh, PVO with the control at the back. With our new lenses on, but previously the E2 body, they're too big for a reasonable or uh, normal usage for the VR180 because they have to be shooting a longer distance for a safety stereo. But now we are setting them at the right distance so you can have the 3D right at the very uh, normal usage. Uh, the distance can be much more normal. But with our new lenses, you can see the distortion profile is almost at a perfect level. So we can have the uh, fish eye unwarp in a very precise way. So even in our demo, we are shooting this uh, demo camera inside my car, which is only just two feet away. And we can still have the stereo alignment right at the distance at that shot. So with the combination of the new lens and the new sensor on uh, K2 Pro, I believe we can uh, deliberate more freedom to create for the creators. So they can shoot in a more uh, freestyle way for the VR 180. These lenses, we have been developing for more than one and a half year. Uh, we want it to be the scene gray lens for the VR uh, photography because we want to have the distortion free we want to have the uh, highest resolution as possible. So in this new design, we are having a, a changeable uh, aperture control. We can set from uh, 2.8 to 11. We can have almost perfect lens distortion profile. So we can unwarp every single pixel in a more precise way. So we can unwarp with any different software in a much higher precision, such as with the Mysticker, we can keep every single parameter, A, B, C, at zero, and we can still have everything perfect. And for the lenses, or you can check with the uh, resolution here. This is a sample we shoot with the uh, old K1 Pro. We have a very uh, cripsy uh, picture at the center, but when you roll all the way to the end, or check on the floor, at the edges, we still have very uh, crystal cripsy Excel. So we will not lose in resolution. We will not lose in brightness. We are, don't have any color drift. Uh, this one was shot by the uh, E1 camera only, but it was behind the sun. At the sunset time, the sun was behind the camera. Or maybe I zoom it at a higher level. So the sun is right behind the tree and we don't have any purple color fringes at the edges of the tree. That's crazy for a lens that have no chromatic aberration for a fisheye lens. Yeah, well, maybe I show you the uh, output file. We have the PD degree viewer. So you can see this is the sharpness chart here. And when I check to the tree, there's no purple line, no color drift and all the way down to the grasses. The contrast, you see the texture of the grasses, which is amazing. I have never seen a lens with this kind of resolution at the bottom or on the top. We make these lenses a standard micro forward. So it's, it's interchangeable for the uh, GH5 or with some other compatible cameras, but we are more inclined to the VR industry. So this may be an upgrade option for the previously, uh, the, if you are S1 Pro user or the K1 Pro user. S1 Pro, guys. And yeah. V1 Pro, you can all upgrade it. Yeah, or maybe if you want a better lens on the V1 Pro, we can still up the upgrade to that. The price, uh, maybe we try to keep it affordable. Okay. The price for this lens is about, um, I try to make it less than a thousand. Thank you so much. So, like? yeah. Thank you. Thank you.